A Brazilian bombshell has landed stateside and taking all the right steps to become a name on everyone's lips. No struggling unknown. Her chances of success are enhanced by superstar status down in Latin America. And a bankroll that puts her in the company of the world's other two top-earning female entertainers. She heads a business empire worth over $100 million spanning television, toys and clothing. Her global real estate holdings even include a private zoo. Fame in America is the realization of a dream that began with a little girl on vacation. And I took the, the pen, Marlene pens, and I put my name, and I was there and said, Marlene, when I will be come to LA, I will have to start with my name. A name that's pronounced Shusha. Even with its unlikely spelling, X-U-X-A, may become very familiar very soon. The privileged daughter of a retired military honcho, Shusha Menigal was schooled for success at age 15 by the country's top modeling agency. Quicker than you could say Uno Dos Tres, she went from ingenue to coy cover girl to playboy pictorial. Like Captain Kangaroo, outfitted by LaToya, she next hosted a children's television show, saturating 15 Latin American lands with four hours of daily programming she won a shusha load of young fans from Medallion to Tierra del Fuego. She also found time to score with a Brazilian soccer hero, only to cry penalty when her records turned gold. With the mega million sales of her own designer lines, some serious financial writers suddenly realized there's an awful lot of copy in Brazil. In 1991, Forbes magazine included her in its wealthiest top 40. A year later, she was proclaimed one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. In 1993, she was beaten only by opera and Madonna in top-earning female entertainers. Shusha's two-year income, a staggering $27 million. To comparisons with the real material girl, Shusha says, okay? You can't compare. I'm not a singer, I'm not a dance. My public is different. I don't know why they say. But in Brazil, they don't compare me with the other person. They just call me Shusha, and that's all. In September 93, Shusha hit American television with a daily kids' show of song, dance, games, and good times. Will she bump off Barney, choke Lamb Chop, or slaughter Sesame Street? Hey, you never know. For there are some mighty shrewd connections behind the girly twirl of this mysterious vid kid. The Cayman Islands-based corporation is Shusha Properties, owners of some 30 real estate gold mines spanning the globe. Home is a 23-acre estate, a sun-splashed stucco hideaway just far enough from the urban sprawl of downtown Rio de Janeiro. Nestled majestically in the lush hinterlands, it is cooled by gentle breezes from the coast and boasts every luxury that a $100 million lady might desire. Shusha's toys include a herd of purebreds, but her pride and joy is her very own six-acre zoo containing over 500 animals. Creature comforts aside, the woman who controls the very substance of success knows there's a fine line between good fortune and goodwill. Shusha doesn't turn her nose up at the plight of the less fortunate. We have a lot of people without, they don't have nothing in their life. And uh, sometimes I, I go to my house and I see big house and beautiful things and said, why I have these things and the people don't have nothing. To give some back to those who contributed to her success, Shusha sponsored a national children's campaign. Result, 90% of Brazilian kids are now vaccinated against polio. She also helped underprivileged children who might otherwise have fallen foul of drugs and violence on Rio's main streets. She opened a home for 250 kids aged between 2 and 12 where they get food, shelter and medical care. Such was the success of the first Shusha Foundation home and so wide the smiles of the kids she saved that she's planning a second for 94. All set to conquer a new kid's continent, she may yet fulfill her dream of seeing her name on the Walk of Fame on the Hollywood Boulevard. Yet, despite the silver spoon she was born with, Shusha sees her success as the stuff of fairy tales. You know, I'm maybe almost the same than Cinderella, but real. Ah, Shusha!